Hey, I didn't realize THQ did this. Apparently. You said this game was never released? Welcome back, by the way. Uh, no, so this was an arcade game that I used to play at a convenience Hello. store down the road from uh, where I lived. And I, I was obsessed with this game. And then one year, God, it had to have been like probably like 91, 92. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I read in GamePro that they were bringing a Sega Genesis version of it out. And I was like, I, it blew my mind. I was like, I, I can have an arcade game at home. Uh, like, holy shit, this is going to be great. And then nothing ever came of it. So was it years just considered later, too violent? Yeah, years later, mm. I found out that they scrapped it. They were like, they looked at it and they were like, nah, it's too much. Because this was, this was kind of in between Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Oh, Actually, this, I don't, this might have even been before Street Fighter Two. When so I was, this might have, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. This go ahead. was this was the first game that I ever remember seeing like m a massive amounts of blood in. Now, granted, this oh. is the co yeah. So the whole game is a fighting game, but each character oh. has a has a weapon. Rancid was always my favorite because he had the chainsaw. Right. I was trying to remember who had that. And you have to dismember the other characters. So, well, you don't have to, but it's part of the game is you could dismember them while you you're fighting them and, and take away their weapons because their weapons, like this guy, the Mantis, ow, is his ow. hand. You can, oh. you can take his hands. He's destroying me on this round. Ow! I can't get close because of his damn chainsaw. Oh, you're Mantis? I'm Mantas. Oh, and you went up against Rancid. Well, I didn't choose him. I wouldn't have. So this is, uh, I, I'm wondering if I have. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Oh, there goes my arm. Oh! Or head? I don't know. He's a weird guy. I think he got beheaded. Okay. Yeah, I was, I forgot I'm on uh, Genesis, so I was like hitting the uh, button that doesn't exist. All right, I'm seeing on. if I have the actual, uh, the arcade. Oh no. Why does it have to be rancid again? Come on! Ow, ow, ow! Yes! Yes! Yes, oh! I cut his arm off! Ah, uh, but not the right arm! He still has a chainsaw! It's fine, it's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, he spit blood on you! I think he's just bleeding in general. Oh, no! No! Well. Oh, good, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, it turns out I'm all right. God, man, th back in the day, this was like... Yeah. Oh, this got is, it again. There wasn't much like this. <laughs> no, not at all. And I remember, uh, so for many years in the early to mid 90s, all the kids. Oh, no, no. Why? Every time. <laughs> this is a hard game. Yeah. Uh, ah. Let me pick a different guy. Orion. Sure. Let me take a look at him. Uh, this oh. was at the Jackson Arcade, <laughs> where every, all the kids would have their birthdays. And why is it still him? I guess I have to start with him and go through everybody? Yes. Oh, this is a nightmare. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Get him. Uh, yeah, but I always cut the arm. Oh, now I've lost an arm. Oh, come on. Uh, but all the kids would want to play this, but you'd always be looking, especially when we were younger, like, hey! to make sure none of the parents... Oh, no! It took both of your arms! <laughs> What's that like even doing there at the end? I'm floating away. Uh. <laughs> Listen, that chainsaw. Uh, but yeah, all the kids would be looking to make sure the parents weren't paying too much attention, basically, because this was yeah, this pre Mortal Kombat. Yeah. No, is... actually, all right. So this came out one month after Mortal Kombat. What? That's so they were crazy. in development at the same so. time. Ouch. Yeah, I don't know um, if I'm gonna get a win in this. This is so hard. So the whole basis going away is again. that each character is from a different era of time. Uh, Rancid is from 2024 AD, the future. Oh, He's a like streetwise it. punk from New Chicago who carries a chainsaw. His forehead is marked with an X-shaped scar from a battle he had with a man who had committed a series of murders and framed him for them. He managed to kill the man before disappearing. The what scar I... may be a reference what? to the Fist of the North Star character, Hyo. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. This Who are is, you, thug? I'm thug now. Well, thug is a large and very powerful prehistoric caveman who wields a stone axe, having emerged from beyond the edge. 
He led a fierce and bloody battle against the reptilian alien race known as the Troglodytes, who were harvesting humans as cattle for food and slavery. What? Slavery? That's not cool. Thug was doing the Lord's work back in his day. This game is impossible. Yeah, it was a very hard game. But like... I... Lord Wolf. Lord Wolf, here we go. Okay, so ports were announced for the Super Nintendo and Ge uh, Sega Genesis with a Nintendo release in spring 94, but Nintendo had the Super NES version canceled early that spring, while the Sen uh, Genesis version was pushed back. Two months later, the Genesis version was canceled entirely, even though developer THQ had already completed it. According to a journalist for GamePro, reportedly the game was considered too explicit. It no, also no, no. had a poor test run among the reviewers who saw the preview copy. So Yeah, I can understand why. And not great. It's not great. It's very hard to control, and the computer's too overpowered. <laughs> so the reason we're able to play it is because it was eventually released by... It was published by Black Pearl in 1996, but it, it, it came and went. Nobody even realized it came out. Well, I can see why. It's not the best. I'm kind of... Yeah. We got to find the actual arcade uh, version sometime. Oh. I think I have it. I just... It, it, I got to get MAME up and running. Um, oh, my head. This is terrible. Yeah. Oh, it's too bad. Uh, okay. Hang on. I'm going through every character. I have three more. Oh, here. So I have a video clip of what the arcade game looks like. Oh, yeah. It looks way better. Right? Or am I? I'm not remembering looks, that wrong. Yeah. No, no. It looks okay. great. I mean, for the time, obviously, it's it's a little dated, but it's still cartoony. Um, but it it looks like old arcade games. Oh, I want a round. Of the 80s. I want a round. This looks. Oh, he leaf. yelled Odin. He went Odin. Uh. Well, as an adventurous Viking who carries a large battle axe, I'm sure he would. That's a good point. Did you know he was a constant thorn in the side of the mysterious and undead legions of the Black Army led by Blackthorn, who aspired to take over the world? Really? Huh? It's most likely that he's based on Leif Erikson. Yeah, I'd say so. Come on. Give me one. Give me one. <gasps> I'll take it. Even if it's not the most violent ending, I'm just happy to have a win. Yeah! I have a win. Congratulations. Oh. Now I'll be Musashi. You mean a samurai who fights with a pair of swords? <laughs> yes. The Yo, very same. Musashi, I have to say, is a brilliant strategist. Really? And the finest general in Japan who lost his once undefeated army to a horrifying dragon. Oh, I mean, what's even what? Even a great strategist is no match for a dragon. Yeah, Musashi. Yeah, he was protected by the dragon's scale he wore and traveled for many years to find it and avenge his loss. <laughs> his little bow. You know, he was uh, supposedly based on Miyamoto Musashi. Miyamoto Musashi? Yeah, Miyamoto Musashi. Also known as Shinman Takizo. Oh. Or by his Buddhist name, Nitin Daruko. Right. He was a Japanese swordsman, philosopher, strategist, writer, and a ronin. I won again! With one arm. Hey, that's a classic Musashi right there. <laughs> I love hearing all about these people. Well, the next one I'm going to fight as is Matrix. <laughs> I actually closed the window. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm up against Rancid again. I'm doomed. Uh, oh, you already lost a limb. No. It's okay, she looks good with one limb. Ow! Oh! Not that many! Well, tell me about her. Maybe that was the key. Well, she was a female soldier, a soldier with a bionic arm, which you lost right away. Yeah. In place of that limb that she lost in a battle. But that bionic arm gave her the ability to tap into the commands of cybernetic foes as a result. I see. Yeah. She uses a sword made of plasma as her weapon. Yeah, it didn't do great, though. No, no, no. It wouldn't then. But in her time period, robots <laughs> went mysteriously berserk and began to massacre humankind. And she managed to defeat the robots by controlling them. Well, wait a minute. vanished shortly after her victory. Tell me, tell me about Orion. 
No, oh, you don't want to know about Orion. Nah, you're right. He's just a space hero of sorts <laughs> who has okay. supposedly grown in a test tube and loves riding in the vastness of space. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, who else? You know what? Being in space that long, though, he became a fugitive after escaping from police out of fear when he tried to report an alien attack that left no traces or evidence and now journeys to locate the aliens responsible. He fights with an electric saber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, what about Wolf? Did we do oh, go over Wolf? Oh, Lord oh, Wolf? Oh, oh. Lord Wolf? Yeah, he's a heroic knight from the medieval age who happens to also use a broad sword. Oh, yeah, he does. Yes, Which actually works does. pretty good. Oh, not against now, Rancid, The though. only thing is, you must know this about him. His Look family was murdered by Count Morbid. <laughs> no, not Count Morbid. Count Morbid murdered his entire family. Oh, no. And then he tried to conquer England before he was destroyed by Wolf. Uh, he's supposedly based on King Arthur. Uh, he even hails from Camelot. And the sword he's using, you'll never guess which sword that is. No. That is... The sword in the stone itself, Excalibur! My god! You're right. Uh, well, this is the only one left right. that we don't know anything about. Oh, you know all about Mantas. I He's love a Mantis. simple mutant creature. It resembles a praying mantis in appearance. Yeah, I now, Mantas, she <gasps> is the queen, Big as implied twist. in her background story. I see. Of a race of unknown origin. Well, now, having overwhelmed an entire area and spreading quickly, these creatures wanted nothing but to cause death and destruction to humankind. After a fearsome war and the disappearance of their queen, both races managed to coexist peacefully. So, it kind of, kind of a pretty uneventful backstory. It's basically, yeah, like, there was a little is. bit of a war, but then they were like, "All right, you're you're cool." It's not the best one to go out on, but hey, you know yeah. what? That's what we're going out on. That's what we got. Hey, at least I got Although a few I wins. I could tell you about the final boss in the game. Uh, what was the final boss again? Oh, you mean death? <gasps> That's right. The I one forgot. responsible for the entire tournament and taking each of the fighters from their periods. And they're just named death? It's the Grim Reaper himself. He brings a scythe in the fight. And to beat him, you have to decapitate him. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So the game itself is actually really good. It's just this port is not the best. Not the best port. So maybe we'll get that arcade version running up. One day. Oh, I sent you the video clip if you want to take a yeah, look yeah, at I'll, it. Yeah, yeah, I'll play that during, I because I remember it, but I, I'll play that during the uh, the episode. Just have yeah. it come up a little window. Uh, actually, it looks really good. Oh, killer. oh my god, and it sounds so much better, too. Yeah. Oh my god, it does look so much better. Yeah, it looks great. I, uh, we have to get this going. Oh, and Orion is supposed to float away. Okay. What do you know? But all right, yeah. One day, guys, we'll play this version when we're probably when we're in the same place again and can do that. Yeah. But you know what? When we're in the same place again, I swear to God, I'm building a main cabinet. That would be amazing. Especially I'm doing if we could it. capture it. Yeah. We will be because it's gonna be a PC inside. We're, I I will build a main cabinet with a fucking capture card on it. Nice. That'd be great. Wow. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, that's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for another ROM of some sort. What's it going to be? Uh, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to find out. Time killers! Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Here, hang on. Let me see if I can just drop this in. I just sounded like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Time killers! <laughs>